Um, today we'll be going through something really intense. There are two main chunks. So the two main chunks is we, the first chunk is uh, resolving uh, two wavelength in or questions involving two wavelength uh, incident on the direction wave. And the second one will be on the uh, thin film interference. These two are the really I save it for the one of the last portion because it's the one of the most punchy ones. You understand it. Okay, so let's take a look at the easiest portion, which is if you have light incidence on this, but it is not just one wavelength, but two wavelengths. So do you agree that each of the wave will create their own pattern? First of all, do you agree that at this point, lambda 1 and lambda 2 will interfere constantly, regardless of any wavelength? You all go straight through. So over here, will be constructing the base for lambda 1 and lambda 2. Now, say for example, lambda 1 is smaller, you have lambda 1, lambda 1, lambda 1. So all these are the lambda 1 maximas. Do you agree that there's a possibility that if lambda 2 is bigger, I can form lambda 2 over here, and there is a chance that lambda 1 and lambda 2 can actually coincide. There is a chance. Now, does it happen for all situations, or is there certain conditions for it to be satisfied? Make a guess. There is a condition. There is a condition. Whenever things are equal, whenever you write equal for physics, whenever things coincide, there must be a certain condition. So let's take a look at the condition, shall we? So let's apply d sine theta for lambda 1 is equal to n1 lambda 1, where n1 is the integer, lambda 1 is the wavelength. Do you agree that for lambda 2, d sine theta is equal to n2 lambda 2? Now, at a point where they coincide, what can you say about these two theta? The same. It must be the same, exactly. And what can you say about the D for the two ways? The same. Are they not? Excellent. So we can say that M1 lambda 1 equals to M2 lambda 2. Now how do you use this? This is just an equation. How do you use this? Let's give an example. <coughs> so say, for example, this is six, uh, 600 nanometers. This is 400 nanometers. Um, it's the reason why this is the most commonly used number because of uh, okay, I'll explain one. So say, for example, M1, N lambda 1 is 400 nanometers equals to N2, 600 nanometers. Can someone explain to me why I don't put the tungsten form and just make it? Exactly. Because it's a unit. Yeah, yeah you can stop. Sometimes it doesn't cancel, but because I'm going to put tungsten form minus 9 on both sides, it will cancel. So, yeah, it, it works if you cancel them out. The hundreds cancels off 3 upon 2, and therefore it tells us that N1 divided by N2 is equal to 3 upon 2. So what does it say about this? What, what does this n1 upon n2 equals to 3 upon 2 tells us? So it basically tells us that the third order of lambda 1 overlaps with the second order of lambda 2. That's what it tells us. So if I got a 5 upon 7, it means that fifth order of lambda 1 overlaps with the seventh order of lambda 2. Now make a prediction. Which is the two next two orders that will overlap with each other? Six and, four. 6 and 4. And then the next one will be um, times 3, 9, and uh, 6. Okay? So let's put everything to a use, um, to, to a question. Let's computize into a question. Let's, let's um, stay with these numbers, just that the two wavelengths, 400 nanometers and 600 nanometers, incident on a direction grading with 500 slits per mm. Now what I want you to find is the first angle theta where the two wavelengths, the two lambdas, go inside and find if there are any other angles where the two wavelengths can go inside. Isn't the first angle zero? Okay. Sorry? Isn't the first angle zero? First angle, sorry? Shouldn't it, shouldn't it be zero because it coincides? Like oh, okay, first angle non zero. So non zero, angle. okay. First non zero. Angle. So the same with length, just that I give you this one.
is lowest common multiple because the lowest common multiple is 12,000 nanometers, uh, 1,200 nanometers. Right? It's the lowest common multiple. That means the n lambda is the lowest common multiple. Is this supposed to be in degrees or radians? Sorry? Do you put it in degrees or radians? Um, you put it in degrees usually. Usually we ask uh, for answers in degrees. So when do they, when do you but get... Technically radians? they cannot fault you. Yeah. If you put it in radians. Unlike A levels, they actually state the, uh, the units that you put. Oh, they tell you? Huh? Yeah, in A level they do. But for high B, they don't. So, so technically, if, you, if the answer is 1 centimeters, you can give it 10 millimeters or, or how many nanometers they come out with. It's just faster as the marker, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you don't want to. Yeah. Ken, are you ready for the real thing? So therefore, this is actually theta divided by number of slits. Still okay with that? So if I got 10 slits, uh, the angle theta will be divided by 10. Yeah? Okay. Which is why if you got a million slits, remember, that's when you get So how is this relevant to what we're going to talk about? Now, the, the, the situation I'm going to talk about also with two wave length. But we're going to talk about two wave length that are very close to each other. Not 400 and 600 nanometers. Are probably 400 and 400.5 nanometers. Yeah. So let's take a look what happens. I'm exaggerating the difference. So, say for example, the first point over here will still coincide. Okay. The second point is going to be 
they're going to be really close to each other and exaggerating the difference. So, but they are actually very close to each other. So there is an angle over here, let's call this that theta one. Do you agree that that will be something like this? Each of the two wavelengths will create their maximum. This is lambda one, this is lambda two. And it also has these small little peaks over here. So therefore, do you agree that when this, the, the angle between the maxima and the first minima is equal to this difference in angle, then can this still be resolved? Do you still remember what's the definition of, uh, what's the basis criterion? When the maxima of one source overlaps with the first minima. Yeah, the central maxima of one source overlaps with the first minima of the other source. That is no longer resolved. It's just resolved actually. Do you remember? Can I? So when the two wavelengths are so close that the two peaks come closer, 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 when the separation in angle between the peaks is equal to this separation, then cannot be resolved. Right? Still okay? Still okay? Yeah? So let's call this theta 1, uh, which is actually this theta, and let's call this theta 2. Okay. So you're okay with the broad concept, huh? What is the condition when they can no longer occur, okay, when they can just be resolved? Now this is the part where different shows are coming. Take a deep breath. It's quite simple actually. I think it's quite simple. That's, that's how you know. <laughs> I think it's quite simple. Okay, there are two arms over here because there's either one and either two, remember? So there are two parts to this. First part, d cos theta d theta is equal to n. It means I'm trying to find the split in the angles between the same uh, the same order. So they are n equals to 1, they are both n equals to 1. Um, what's the split between them? So that's why I'm finding the difference in angle as a result in the difference in lambda. And then don't check the table. Still alive. Okay. So the difference in angle between the two wavelengths be given by this. We are talking about the same order also because there is no difference in n. That means n is a constant. That means n equals to 1 for both. Or n equals to 2 for both. N equals to 3 for both. So it's the same order, but because a difference in wavelength, it causes a difference in angle. Are you okay? Yeah? Now, the, the next part is also d sine theta equals to n lambda. But what I'm doing over here is slightly different. I am talking about the difference in order. So when I change the order, that means in n equals to 1 to n equals to 2, the difference in the angle. So this is the d theta as a result of the difference in angle, which means that d cos theta or d theta is equal to dn times lambda over d cos theta. Now, what exactly is this d theta? This d theta over here means that if this is lambda 2 and this is lambda 2, this is also lambda 2, just that this is n equals to 1, n equals to 2 for lambda 2, what is this angle, the angular separation? So for one order, that's why, um, sorry, for one wavelength, but a different order. This is n equals to 1, this is n equals to 2. Now, what would I get if I take this angle divided by n? Still remember that if I take this theta, the separation between the maximus divided by the number of slits that I shine light on, I'm getting that. I'm getting this angle. Remember I said theta divided by 3, theta divided by 4, theta divided by infinite number of slits. So I'm getting the angle from the maxima to the first minima by dividing it by n. Now what do I do with these two expressions? You need to guess. To find the condition when, yes, correct, when they are just resolved, I equate this to this. So n d lambda over d cos theta is equal to d n times this, d cos theta times n. Can you see that d cos theta cancels off? Yeah? Now, what's the difference in order between this and this? This is n equals to 1, this is n equals to 2. What's the change in order? Simple question. Sorry? 1, exactly. So this one is equal to 1. 
Therefore, if I rearrange the equation, can you see that lambda over d lambda is equal to n times n. And this is the equation in your notes. Lambda over delta lambda is equal to small n times big n. This is the order, this is the number of states you illuminate. No, I'll just read from this and then D at first. Okay, let's, let's, re, let's revisit the idea behind uh, the, 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 the idea behind these two parts. This track over here, basically I am trying to find the effect of a difference, a small difference in wavelength on the split between these two. That means the lambda 1 and lambda 2 was the angular separation between them. And this is what I get for the D theta over there. Whereas this theta over here, I'm trying to find the effect if I change the order, What's the angular difference? So for one wavelength, lambda 2, this is n equals to 1, n equals to 2. If I were to change the order, what's the change in angle? Right? You remember just now when I went through this one? This is your, this angle over here is this delta eta. Now remember when I divide by, by the, when I divide this angle over here by the number of slits, what I'm getting over here is this one. Rayleigh's criterion, when the central maximum overlaps with the first minimum, that's what it is just resolved. That's why I equated this one with this one. And that's the equation. Cool. Don't worry, you will never be required in IB to divide this. But I think it is good for you. Okay? Maybe your math, but more importantly, the understanding behind it. Cool. Sometimes you need to watch this a few times, so that's why I've been calling this. Okay. <laughs> so in your free time, I just some people might sleep this way. <laughs> You'll go in. Yes. No, it's because you, you didn't say that D was delta. Then you just kind of went. Okay, fine. Yeah, you wrote D yeah. everywhere. Okay, yeah. Actually, actually, D and delta, I wouldn't say it's interchangeably used, but uh, it, it, it should be delta over here right now. Because I, I looked at the D sine theta, then I saw the D everywhere. Else, huh? Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I understand. So this should be delta. That's what I say. Yeah. Okay. 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 It gets a bit confusing, like, the D, is the D in front of the cos a D as in the slit separation of Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, understand, understand. Okay, can I just take another minute, take a look at it, slowly absorb it. But the only equation that I need to know is this one. Any question? I'm waiting for someone to ask a question on this. You're finding, basically, this equation allows you to find, say, for example, if you want to find the minimum uh, wavelength separation that you can resolve, um, at a certain order, when a number of seats are illuminated, you'll be given by this. But since you've got two wavelengths, I'm waiting for a question. What do you put over here? Do you put lambda 1 or lambda 2? Are we on? Yeah. If you want to find the separation in wavelength that can be resolved, uh, given number of order, number of seats illuminated, which one do you put over here? Lambda 1 or lambda 2? Both. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Because when we use this equation, we are talking about a difference in wavelength. Because of anyway, it's a, one change. it's a change. Uh, uh, this is the change. This the is the difference in one wavelength. The value is so small. Right? And the, the, the difference is usually very small compared to the value. Mm -hmm. But then, what were you, like, what are you supposed to use? You put either one. Mm -hmm. IB x and both. Okay. That means you can put lambda 1 or 2. The difference is the value should be less than 1%. Because usually I'm talking about a 1 nanometer difference between a uh, wavelength over here that's 400 nanometers. So that's less than 1%. Okay? Yeah. You'll be going, to the difference in answer will be down to the third decimal place. Which is that more? Cool. Let's take a minute, uh, look at it again. Understand what are the difference in the D theta in the various um, steps. Which one? Which one? Which one? The left, the left side, yeah. uh, this one. Yeah. Okay, so what do you want to do? Yeah. The two Ds. Oh, okay, okay. okay. This, this D, okay. this D is a slit separation. This D theta is one thing over here. It is the difference in angle um, due to a difference in wavelength. So the difference, that means lambda 1, lambda 2, because of the difference in wavelength, at the same order, at a particular order, why do I show that? Because I did have a D and one. One single order, what's the difference in So this is your theta one. Okay. Then I want to derive the other expression for the angle between the, uh, the 
maxima and its first minima. So that's why I for uh, for the for the difference in order, one difference in order, n equals to one to n equals to two. What's the angular separation? This is the d theta that we have to look for a particular wavelength for different order. What's the angular separation? But what I want to find is the angle between the central maxima and the first minima. So I can divide it by three. Remember, I started by giving you the theta divided by three, theta divided by four. Yeah. So then you can put this right. Even more importantly, I hope that you will have this habit of asking why. Why they do they like this? You may find the answer, you may not find the answer. At least have the attitude to ask why. Okay? Don't worry, it is recorded. Um, the best way to test yourself is look at this. Do you get the mm feeling? Once you get the mm feeling, don't look at this, divide it yourself. <laughs> ah, then we can divide it yourself. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah? Okay? Then you can confirm whether that mm is real mm or not. Or just you think it's mm. Actually, it's ah. Oh, yeah. The mic's not here, I can say anything. Yeah, that's the best test. Otherwise, as long as you end up with the situation, hey, how come I revise? I know everything, and then exam, I don't know what to do. Right? Yeah. So, so that D and right? In this so case, it's one, but it also depends on the question. D and over here. Yeah, but it depends on the question or what? Depends on the question, is it? Like, can it be like two or three or something? Oh, no, because, because remember the derivation is we, when we went through the derivation, we wanted to find the angle between the maxima and the first minima. So if you have these maximas over here, this will be your theta. So this will be say n equals to third order and this is the n equals to fourth order. Um, the, the angle between the um, central maxima and the first minima over here is always that angular separation between the difference in order divided by the number of six over here. So it's always one. That's a good question. Why is the n one? That's what your question is, right? It's just me. So we always want delta n. Can I? Okay, let's try one question and see whether you can do it. I'm going to leave this here because yeah, the name looks like she's in looking at it really intensely. <laughs> they're trying to find four like that. Ah! I'm trying to understand. <laughs> okay, we're well, trying to understand. I'm going to give you a question. You try to see for yourself and see whether you can. So two wavelength, 409 and 409.4 millimeters, yeah? Um, what's the minimum diameter of the beam given that this is 400 slits per mm for the two wavelength to be resolved, to be just resolved? minimum diameter of the beam so that the two wavelengths can be just resolved at n equals to 2. See whether you can apply. It's only this equation. Okay? I just added the question as a twist so that you have to do something else and not just simply the answer. Yeah. Wait, what, what's, what's the um what's n, the n small n is the order, big n is the number of seats. Oh that it shines the eight luminates. I can say one by one, right? Because the mic's not here. Sorry? I can say one by one, right? Because the mic's not here. Um, yes, yeah, uh, but don't say whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. Okay. In case whatever you want is legit. Yeah. It's always uh, censored. In school, you have to censor. No, I mean, the thing is that it's, it's 
make sure that you, when you speak to someone, when you say something, just make sure that it doesn't hurt people, consider other people's emotions and feelings, and just be respectful. Follow those basic rules you can't get too far off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. those are just uh, standard rules. Context. Yeah, exactly, standard rules. But you see, common sense is not that common all the time. Yes. Can we ask you personal questions? Can we ask you personal questions while the week is on? <laughs> later, later. We can address the big part of the game. Okay. <laughs> Which is not too far away. How many minutes is this? 25. Okay. Just sub, sub it in. Okay. Probably I'll just stop the video from here and then we can allow the video from now.